morning, squad. How is everyone doing today? Today it is March the 30th is the end of the month, of course. And I just got my delivery today of meats from Jamie Meats. This was about $130. You get a lot of meat for $130. No tax, free delivery. Why not? They even gave me these... I'm not sure what you put. You put your can of pop or... You keep your beverage cold. And they even gave me a card, Janie Meats. I'll leave all the information to Janie Meats in the description so you guys can check them all out. Uh, right now, I haven't tried their meat yet, but I will tonight. Uh, I'm currently cooking a roast in the oven. It was a three and a half pounds, I think it was, uh, roast. It was a sirloin roast. And I got some steaks. Actually, I'll show you what I got in the box. So I got some steaks. This is... These are sirloin steaks. We got some strip steaks. Got four of those. We got some sirloin tip roast. And I got a round steak. And I got five pounds of ground beef underneath there. So all of this for $130. I got two roasts, one in the oven, one in here. Five pounds of ground beef, some steaks. Can't. I mean, this is a pretty good deal, don't you think? If you guys want to get your meats, I definitely highly recommend you guys contact them. You can contact them pretty much in every way. You can contact them through Facebook, email, Instagram. That's how I contacted them, through Instagram. And they're very polite. They're a very small uh, family-owned business. So definitely check them all out. Uh, I can't say it more than what I'm already saying. It's uh, definitely well worth it. And I'll definitely tell you guys how the meat tastes. I mean, the price is fantastic, but the taste is going to be what's going to be up to me. So when I have my roast cooked tonight, I'll uh, vlog about it. Just got back from the bank. Had to get some money because I'm going to go to uh, Food Basics to get uh, a few things for breakfast tomorrow. I need bacon. I got eggs, I got hash browns, I just need bacon and some bread. I've been loving this Damster's Honey Oat Bread. It's so delish. If you guys want to try something really good, try the Honey Oat, uh, is it the Honey Oat Damster Bread. Also, I'll show you guys when I get there. I'm at Food Basics. You guys all know that, right? <laughs> It's like I always show you guys Food Basics. Food Basics is the first grocery store that I go to quite often. Because I don't get the chance to go to Walmart that often. So Food Basics is like the second best, you know. Even though Walmart's a little bit better, but Food Basics is pretty good. They do have occasionally some good sales. This week is it's actually pretty good, actually. The sales are really amazing. I think they're kicking it a notch. It's been raining on and off today, most of the day today. So we're gonna be basic, so let's go in. Here is the roast from Janie Meats. Got some roast beef with some gravy, mashed potatoes, and vegetables. Now I'm gonna try it for you guys on the vlog. Now I'm gonna try it right on the vlog for you guys. Mm. So good, so tender, so flavorful. I put a pack of onion soup mix onto the roast beef. It tastes so good. What? Mm. It tastes so good. Try J and Me Meats. I highly recommend you guys try it. All the links in the description. No, in March. The end of March and it's snowing. Look at this. What happened to spring? I thought it was springtime. What's going on? At the shoppers, I said, just came out of shoppers. Had to come get a few things, including toothpaste and mouthwash and everything. So I'm at Shoppers. <laughs> now I'll be heading home. So let's go. Good morning, squad. Today it is Monday, April the 1st. So April Fools. And we're at Walmart in Wallaceburg. We came for a car ride and we always come to Wallsburg. Of course, you gotta go to Country Style too to get their brownies. Brownies are really good. So let's go in. I'm out of Walmart. 
and I'm just gonna put things in the van. It's quite busy in there. There's actually some pretty good sales today at Walmart. If I can get this open. So, got a few things. I uh, got some cereal, of course. Because, you know, got yeah, some cereal. Got some laundry detergent, laundry fabric softener, some chocolate milk. I got my favorite chocolate milk, the Seal Tiss. It's my favorite. It was like two 750 mils for like two bucks, so it was like a dollar a piece. So yeah, if you guys ever come to Wallsburg, definitely come to Walmart. You'll definitely see a difference in, uh, I don't know, I feel, I feel like the whole atmosphere at Walmart in Wallsburg is way better than the one in Chatham. I feel like Chatham never really has whatever I'm looking for which is kind of a disappointment too. So we're gonna probably gonna go out for lunch because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten yet. So I'll see you guys wherever we are. So let's go. This is the Walmart in Wallaceburg. It's really hard not to catch people on film, especially when you're trying to film a sign or you're trying to film yourself and people are behind you. So it's kind of hard not to film anyone so flip the pack I'm gonna put the basket back I don't know how to talk today <laughs> I'm out of Dresden meats we came and got some things for supper and then we got some pepperettes so if you come to Wallaceburg definitely go to Dresden meats they have really fresh meat they, if you have any questions call them 519-627-5959. Definitely highly recommend you guys. And when I say I recommend you guys to check out a place, I, I really do. So, I don't know. We'll do lunch next. So, let's go. Got done eating lunch. We went to McDonald's in Wallaceburg. I had the Big Mac combo, which was really, really good with a Coke Zero. So, yeah. Lunch was really good. I always like to come to uh, Wallaceburg restaurants and, and stores. It's just because it's, I feel like that Wallaceburg is a lot nicer. Like, a lot nicer people than Chatham. I'm not sure what Chatham really brings, you know. I don't know what really Chatham brings to someone, like. But I find that a lot of people that works in stores, I feel like they're always rude. I love Wallaceburg. So friendly, so friendly town. So now we're probably gonna go home. And when I get home, I'll show you guys what I got from Walmart. So let's go. second it is Tuesday and I just came back from the Dollarama so now I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Dollarama so check it out this is all that I got from the Dollarama and believe it or not this was about $25 I couldn't believe it this is from the dollar store so we, first of all we got some Damster's hot dog buns we got some Lindor chocolate we got some Wonder Bread uh, not Wonders white wraps I also got some plain hot ruffles that I'll be doing a review on. I also got these 
fitness trackers. I got myself one and I got my girlfriend one. Uh, these are just almost like uh, almost like Fibbits, but a uh, little cheaper ones. So I also got uh, something else. It was something that you put on your desk to put all your letters and all that. And it's so all of this, $25, believe it or not. What is up with you guys, Dollarama? This is crazy. $25, I remember I used to go to the dollar store and spend 25 bucks and I normally would have gotten a lot. Now, everything is so expensive there, it's like three or four dollars. This right here, the, the cheaper version of a Fitbit, was three dollars. The hot dog buns was like two dollars, I think. The wraps were two. The Lindor chocolate was two fifty. The chips was two fifty, and the the letter organizers it was like four dollars. It's crazy, but these are things that I needed, so I wanted to shop at the dollar store. Good afternoon, squad. How is everyone doing today? Today is brand new day. I know I vlogged a bit this week. I'm hoping to have this vlog up by sometime this week, but I'll keep you guys all posted on on social media. Today it is April the 4th, it's about 3.22 in the afternoon, and I had just got done doing my two routes of flyers today. I'm on a roll lately with these flyers, so I got my two flyer routes done. Yesterday I had three routes of papers, also got that done, so for the rest of the weekend, I'm relaxing. Good afternoon, squad. Today it is Sunday, April the 7th. And I have to come to Food Basics to get uh, things for dinner. We're going to have some steak. And I need to get some asparagus. And some baked potatoes. Wow, the new Wendy's. They're renovating Wendy's. Look at that. That looks cool. Can't wait till when it, uh, when it opens up. Because I'm kind of hungry for a Wendy's burger. <laughs> so... Well, let's go into Food Basics. I'm uh, back from Food Basics, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I got, some of the things that I got. I got some apples, cucumber, grapes, bananas. Also got some asparagus for tonight for dinner. And of course, I went to Tim Warren's, got a, a double-double. I got my favorite cheese that I'm gonna put on my slice of toast, my honey oat toast. Delicious. Toast, honey oat toast with cheese. I'm getting ready for dinner because I'm just pre prepping everything. I got my baked potatoes in the oven. I got some asparagus in the oven. I got my peas on the stove. And now I'm just prepping my steak. Here are my steaks, some strip loin steaks. I got some um, Bissell oil with some Montreal steak spice on both sides. So when they hit the grill, they're going to be really grilling up fantastic. To mention that I got these from Food Basics as well when I went there earlier to get a few things that I needed for tomorrow. So I got these, these are my favorite uh, Special K chips I call them because they kind of do look like chips, but these are the salt and vinegar flavor. These are so good. If you guys ever tried Special K, yeah, they call it, they call it cracker chips, but I call them chips. So if you ever try the Special K cracker chips, you guys know the salt and vinegar ones are fantastic. They're so good. Try them. I got them for $1.99 at Food Basics. You guys have been wondering what honey oat bread I was talking about in my, I think it was last week's vlog. This is the bread I was talking about. The Danster's Honey Oatmeal Bread. I call it oats. So this is really good. Oh, I, I go through this like crazy. And plus it's healthy too. It's uh, There's only about a half a gram of saturated fat, one gram of total fat, like, 17 grams of carbs, two sugars, two, uh, actually four protein. And there's like a whole bunch of vitamins and minerals. So I love this bread so much. And I mean, my whole entire family loves this. So this loaf doesn't last us too long in, in this household, but it's super good and I feel it's healthy. Prepping my barbecue, just heating it up. And I'm gonna be ready to put them steaks on the barbecue. As I said, I'm grilling my steaks on the barbecue. It's beautiful today. It's supposed to be as nice tomorrow than it is today. It's supposed to go as high as 19 tomorrow, so I'm excited. Finally, the nice weather has finally arrived and we can enjoy, you know, the barbecue season, the grilling season, so I'm certainly enjoying the weather. Morning, squad. Once again, we're here vlogging, but this time I'm at Tim Horn's location. 
spot on. I've already reviewed the strawberry cheesecake muffin, but I thought I would bring it to the vlog as well because this is like one of my favorite muffins. I hope they never get rid of it because this is going to be this is going to be a disappointment the day that they get rid of this one. Surprising, I found a muffin that I like. Put the camera down because I only have two hands and I'm by myself, so I had to unwrap my muffin. But I love this muffin. It smells like strawberry and then that cream cheese filling. Mm. So good. Better than the fact that it's morning because you know it's fresh. Every morning, come to Tim Hortons, grab yourself a coffee, and bake good because you know for sure they're fresh. Not overly sweet, which is very good. Because I like sweet, but not overly sweet. This just has a perfect amount of sweetness with that cream cheese frosting. I must try. Of course, start off your morning with a medium double double. Or this is not a medium. This is. Yeah, this is a medium. <laughs> Oh, man. It's morning. You can tell I'm not really thinking straight. Medium, double-double. And I just got done my muffin. That was so good. I'm going to give a rating on the vlog channel. If you haven't seen the review on the um, strawberry cheesecake muffin on the review channel, I'm going to give a rating right here on the vlog. This, 5 out of 5, from me to you all day. You guys got to try the strawberry cheesecake muffin from Tim Hortons. I'm going to be walking home because I got coffee for my girlfriend and I got some baked goods so for the family so let's go home. Oh gorgeous today. It's actually even better than yesterday. Yesterday was really nice but today from what I've seen on the weather network it's supposed to go up as high as 20 which is really good. Maybe some more grilling today. <laughs> I love grilling. For the past two days now, I've been really enjoying grilling on the barbecue from chicken to steak. So let's see what we're going to grill today. Maybe pork chops. Yeah, that'd be good. Some nice grilled pork chops with some baked potato. I love baked potato. And these baked potatoes aren't that big anyways. They're like small, so just perfect for, for a meal. So if you guys are out today on April 8th, Monday. Of course, Monday is the start of a, a new week. So if you guys are out, let me know what you guys are doing. Here are my Tim Hortons. I'm not sure that will be a good thumbnail. But as always, let's go home. So I'm just going to do a sit down with you guys because I don't really get the chance to do this that often. You guys are just always used to seeing me just going out for a walk to either the store or Tim Hortons and letting you guys know exactly what's currently going on with my life because this is what the vlog is all about. You know, it's a video diary. I'm letting you guys know exactly what I'm doing every day. So I thought I'd let you guys know about a package that I had received today. It's actually a package that I did expect because I did pay for two day shipping. I ordered this over the weekend. My girlfriend had sent me a link through Facebook Messenger over the weekend and it was about men's products. So I'm going to open this with you guys. I don't want to show you guys my address, but it's of course already open, but I thought I'd make it official right on the vlog. So we got, and I did show you guys this on Instagram, but I didn't reveal what I was getting. But I did reveal to you guys a link that you guys can use to get your free trial of men products. So this is, I'm probably going to end up butchering this, Brickel, I think that's how it's pronounced. If you guys can correct me, that'd be great. Let me know in the comment section below. But we're going to open this together. Because I haven't opened it. I only pa opened the package. I didn't actually open the box. And the box is really nice. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys <laughs> my coupon, of course. But this is what it looks like. It's 
Brickell's Men's Product Starter Kit Quick Start Guide. So this is the guide to let you guys know what's exactly in here and how to use it. So you open this, bubble wrap of course, and there's different products. There's like shampoo to face wash to aftershave to face moisturizer to a whole bunch of products right here. I did pay $11.88 I think that's what it was for shipping but this was free. This is the free trial. You can also purchase I uh, think bigger size of these products. So I'm go going to try them out. Maybe not on the vlog but I'll definitely let you guys know on social media if I like any of these products. These are just kind of like free trials to let uh, to try them and, and which one do I like. Things like that. So there's also a night serum day serum, anti-aging cream, face mask. It's kind of interesting that uh, I was able to, you know, have this link to sent to me from, to my, from my girlfriend uh, so I can try it out. So, yeah, definitely, if you guys want to try it out, I'll see if I can find the actual link where I got this. And all you have to pay is the shipping, which isn't that much. I think you can pay a little lower shipping if you guys can wait four to six days. But I did a two-day shipping for like $11, which is, which is superb. So yeah, this is what I got. Definitely check them out. And uh, if I can let you guys know in the vlog in the future, that'd be great. I'll probably do that in the next vlog. I'll see how everything goes and if I did try any of these. But yeah, check them out. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna do the Q&A. And I've asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, when was it? March 28th, which was last week. So you guys rocked at questions. I got seven questions, and I'm going to answer them right now in the vlog. First question is, James, I'm not sure how to pronounce your username, but uh, his question was, any plans to review any products from the UK if you've ever planned to visit? Um, the answer is, I would like to review some products from the UK. That would be great if I had the chance. I always try to look for any you know, international products in the grocery stores and I do sometimes uh, come out very lucky and find a few things, but uh, not always. But uh, if I ever plan to visit, that'd be great. If I could visit the uh, UK, that would be awesome. I always wanted to go to the United Kingdom. So great question. We got another one and you review sweets from the UK, I'll send you them. That would be awesome. If you can send me them, awesome. I'll definitely review them. If you can get a hold of me through DMs or emails, me at uh, cb12reviews at, I think it was iCloud.com. I'll leave all the information in the description, so check them out. But that's a great question. I'll definitely review them if you send them. Yes, most definitely. The qu Another question is, I, I, I'll definitely can't pronounce this username, but how long have you done YouTube for? I've done YouTube for about 12 years, since 2007? Yeah, 2007, that was when I first started YouTube, and it was uh, my birthday, actually, so that's how I know how long I've always been on YouTube. Good question. Another one is Nathan, Nathan Rosegram? You know, if I pronounced it right, great. If, if I didn't, I do apologize once again. But the question is, what do you see yourself doing in five years from now? What do I see myself doing in five years? Continue doing YouTube. I love doing YouTube. I love the response that I get out of all of you guys, uh, from the comments to the feedback. I do appreciate every support that you guys have given me over the past 12 years. So that's what I'm, I see myself doing in five years. Continue doing YouTube. Maybe, maybe doing some, that'd be kind of cool if I could do like video editing for, you know, if I was to start my own video production company, that'd be great. I could do that in five years if I see myself in five years but continue doing YouTube is definitely the first thing next question mall QR is it QR8 favorite thing about Chatham favorite thing about Chatham actually it's about everything I love you know no matter how many people talked bad about Chatham over the over the years that I've uh, that I've been here it's no matter what people say I love Chatham no matter what uh, everything's great. The, the, the whole city, you know, 
Uh, everything's kind of coming together. You know what I like now is finally now they're starting to do things to Chatham. And things that we've never had before, now we're finally getting, you know, like a Starbucks, Popeyes. So that's what I like about Chatham. I hope that answered your question. My next question is from Rosa Dopoulos. I think that's pronounced. If, if everyone can correct me if I've said your username wrong, uh, if anyone can correct me, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. But the question was, McDonald's or Burger King? That's a toughie. <laughs> I mean, I love McDonald's because they're Big Mac. I also love Burger King for their Whoppers. But if I had to choose one of them, I would have to definitely pick Burger King because there's nothing greater than having a Whopper. It was like, that's the first thing. I feel, in my honest opinion, I feel like that when you go to Burger King, you definitely go to Burger King for the Whoppers. You know, a lot of you guys probably go to for other reasons, but for me anyways, I go there for the Whoppers. The smell from from the minute that you get into the building, the smell is just mind-boggling. It's like, the smell's so good. You know, definitely know you're going to get a good hamburger. <laughs> That's how I feel, you know. Burger King all the way, but I do enjoy a Big Mac, you know. Who who doesn't? Last question is from Benchy7. What is your favorite Oreo flavor? That is definitely a terrific question. I've reviewed a lot of Oreos, and I mean, there's been a lot of Oreos that I've loved more than others. I do have like a top five, but if I had to pick one of my favorite flavors, and it's not really a flavor, I mean, it's just, you know, a little bit more icing, but you guys all know, the best one I've ever had was the most stuffed. That Oreo was so delicious the cream that they had in the middle. But if you mean flavor, that's, I would have to say cinnamon bun. That's definitely my favorite flavor. But favorite Oreo, most stuffed. So it's between the most stuffed and the cinnamon bun. Yeah. So I hope you, I hope that answered your question. I do appreciate all of your questions. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. We're off to Tim Hortons on this Somewhat nice Tuesday, April 9th day. Yesterday was way better. It was really nice. It wasn't as cold. Today there's a bit on the cold side. I think it's like 10. Which isn't that bad. I mean, it's better than minus 10. I mean, it's still beautiful today. But not as nice as yesterday. Yesterday, we grilled up some pork chops on the barbecue. Unfortunately, I didn't show you guys, but there will be many, many more grilling videos. Because, you know, it's not the end of the grilling season. It's just the beginning. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go to Tim Hortons to get myself a breakfast sandwich. They currently have a deal going on. Two breakfast sandwiches for $5. So, can't go wrong with that. I mean, if I see any good deals on breakfast sandwiches, I'm all there. <laughs> you know, as a Canadian, you got to have a coffee and a breakfast sandwich from Tim Hortons. McDonald's is good, but not as good as Tim Hortons. In my honest opinion, I love Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons has always been my go-to place to get coffee and breakfast sandwiches. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys have been to Tim Hortons and what kind of breakfast sandwiches you like. Do you like it on a home style biscuit, English muffin, do you like sausage or bacon, do you like cheese or no cheese? What do you guys like? Let me know in the comment section below. Before I left, I was editing the vlog, of course, making sure that every bit of footage was there and I didn't miss anything. That's the thing about a YouTube vlogger. We always got to make sure that every footage that we film throughout the day, it's there. Because we don't want to miss a piece of footage. Because I feel that the smallest piece of footage can ruin a whole video if you don't have everything put in. And it takes time and effort to edit the vlog. Especially mine, if it's like 20 to 30 minute vlog, it takes uh, quite a bit of my time to edit it. And... To get the positive feedback that I get from you guys makes it worth 
every minute. So right now, I'm at Tim Hortons, so let's go. Our Tim Hortons. I'm not sure if you guys, well, this is one of our Tim Hortons. This is the one I go to. And I'm not sure if you guys can see that. There's two for five. And I got a reward on my Tim card, or my Tim reward card, so I got a free coffee. My breakfast sandwich right here, home style biscuit with a sausage. I'm gonna have to show you the, uh, the advertising near the sign of Tim Hortons. Two breakfast sandwiches for $5, that's cheap. And I'm gonna eat this on the vlog for you guys. It's all good. I'm gonna come back and vlog more because I gotta go to basics. You guys, the sign of the two for five breakfast sandwich. The sign that they advertise near their Tim Horton sign. Oh, there's the sign. That'd be good. That's a good thumbnail. Two for five classic breakfast sandwich. They don't. Really, they don't really specifically say what. I mean, oh yeah, they can have it on an English muffin. I thought it was just home style biscuit. Oh, so you can have it on home style biscuit and English muffin. That's awesome. So I'm gonna go to Food Basics. So as always, let's go. I'm almost home, just came back from Food Basics. Got a few things that were on sale. I had to get bananas. Um, I got some hot dogs. Some things that can get me through a few days, you know, like I was like, I've always said before, I've always liked to keep things fresh. I always buy one pack of hot dogs at a time and uh, I just go back, I have a reason to go back, you know, like. So I guess I also got some Special K chips that I had mentioned in the vlog this week and they're like my favorite chips from Special K. They're almost like cracker chips. So I got them, I got three boxes, I got two salt vinegars and two, uh, one barbecue. So I'm almost home now. Look at all these flags. I'm not sure. I think they're that's like water water maintenance. I think so. So as always, I'll see you guys when I get home. So let's go. It's starting to get a little warmer now with the sun beaming on me. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. Which is good. Because I don't uh, I really do enjoy the cold. But if I can get some nice weather, that's you know I'll take it. I'll take nice weather over the cold any day. Not so hot though. I don't like summer. As you guys all probably know, I don't like the summer whatsoever. So if I can get this nice spring weather or the fall weather, I'm all game for that. surveys is something that I've always been wanting to talk to you guys about in the vlog because I always get these surveys when I go to Tim Hortons whenever I buy a coffee or Timbits I've always been given some surveys that I can do online well if you go to tell Tim's yeah you go to tell Tim's.ca you enter the code that they give you on the survey and then you fill in the survey and at the end they give you a validation code that you bring in the, the piece of paper back in and get a 10 pack of Timbits for a dollar. Well, I've always been kind of curious, do they listen to your feedback when you submit your survey? And my location, they've never really changed up their baked goods. Like they've had like new muffins, new cookies, sometimes new donuts, but they never really changed their original donuts like there's times that I would like a Canadian maple donut and you know there's other places in Chatham they, they sell the Canadian maple donut but I don't feel like going to other places beside that one I've always been committed to that one Tim Hortons that I go to quite often and I had to go today on Bloomfield because I had a ride 
down that around that area because I had to get uh, I had to submit something uh, around that area, and I went to Tim Hortons to grab a my usual double double, but then I had eight free roll up tabs for donuts, so I had uh, bought four extra, and I got a whole dozen for free. Well, not really for free because I had to buy four, so I got eight of them for free, but I had to buy four. Well. That one I love. The one on Bloomfield I really absolutely love because there's a lot of choices of donuts. But the Tim Hortons that I go to, they don't have options. Like, they have the original, the Boston Cream, the Chocolate Dip, the Sour Cream Glaze, uh, the Vanilla Dip, the Sprinkles. Well, I don't like sprinkles on my donuts. And it's just my preference. I just don't like sprinkles. But at the Bloomfield one, they also had the new Cinnamon Sugar. Timbits, which is kind of neat because I'm going to review that on my review channel. But I would like the one that I go to a lot to start having different varieties of donuts, especially maple. You know, how about you have one month Boston cream and then one month Canadian maple and see how well the Canadian maple sells. I guarantee it will sell like hotcakes. I, I feel personally that everyone would enjoy a Canadian maple donut rather than a Boston cream. I mean, most of you guys probably do like Boston cream, but the maple is definitely out of this world. I love Canadian maple. That's my go-to donut that I always choose when I go to other locations that actually sells the Canadian maple. So that's my little rant. What do you guys all think? Do you guys think you could agree with me or not? Let's talk about this. I'm always wanting to talk to you guys about this and start a discussion. So let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to wrap the vlog right here because it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I want to get this up for you guys by tomorrow. So I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. As always, if you guys didn't, you guys want to see more vlogs like this one, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe as always. Don't forget to turn my post notification on so you never miss a vlog. All my links to my social media will be in the description. So do follow me as always on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming vlogs. So until next week, peace out. It's really windy today. I'm just out doing uh, newspapers and it's really, really windy. So if you guys are in Chatham area, it's really windy. <laughs> What's the weather like in your area? So just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Dollarama Fitbit that I posted on Instagram yesterday. I wanted to try it for at least a day to test it out to let you guys know in a full video on YouTube soon. Firing up the grill. It's grilling season. Once again, we're going to have some grilled chicken tonight with a baked potato and veggies. This is going to be good. And I'm using my new Home Chef grill cleaner that I got from my aunt. So yesterday was really, really nice. I was actually quite surprised on how beautiful it was. I went out to do newspapers, and then uh, for dinner, we grilled on the barbecue. We had grilled chicken, baked potato, and peas, and it was really, really good. And making it a beautiful weather like yesterday made it even better. So today is still nice. So I didn't vlog yesterday, but I'll certainly vlog today and have the video up for you guys, or the, the vlog be up this week, sometime this week. So keep following me on social media. That way you guys know when the vlog will be up.